and tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den and Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFNN.com. The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, folks, looking good, feeling good. Merry Christmas week for everybody. Hope everybody has a wonderful week. Remember, giving is a heck of a lot more than receiving. That's what they say in the old Bible, and I believe you have to think that's right. Speaking of giving things out, let's take a look at this E-mini S&P here over the last three days. You can see here on the left, we've got our first ABCD pattern. We'll just draw it in. So the folks at home that don't understand ABCD is your AB leg. There's your CD leg, and you see it measures, get it down here to where it's supposed to be, Bubba. It measures to 4,800, and we've been to uh, 4,900, uh, oh, wow, 4,799 and a quarter. So that should be complete. But notice we have another move here from the low on Friday. Okay, there's the opening Sunday night. So if we measure that ABCD, we'll just draw that one in just for kicks and giggles. There's your AB leg right here. There's your CD leg coming in here and goes right almost to the 50% level. It measures to 47.96. So we're right in an area right now where if you sell it, you only got to risk about 10 points. The good part about this is selling it there, you could be looking at a profit objective. You're just going from the high right up here to this low right there, okay, that profit objective is 30 points. So you're risking 10 to make 30. That's what it looks like. Now, this has nothing to do with uh, moving averages or anything like just simple A, B, C, D, pro, a, a, B, C, D patterns. That's all that is. Now, I'm going to regress here just a little bit because uh, something's happened over the last couple of weeks while I've been thinking about what's going to be happening into January, taking a little bit of time off. And I was uh, chatting with 20 minutes about Christmas and stuff like that in the old days of Drexel. We used to have these fa fabulous parties at uh, the Drexel office there at Rodale and Wilshire. Uh, he, they would have a giant shrimp. Uh, uh, it was a, built like a, like a shark or a whale or something like that. And they would fill it up day, day, hour after hour the Christmas week of fresh shrimp. But even strangers would come in and, uh, and have uh, – you know, some uh, shrimp cocktail, and they had all kinds of things, uh, fruits and nuts and everything. Oh, oh just great. And the one that was running it was Jim Twentyman's, uh, his girlfriend, the one he was living with, uh, Margot Grant. She ran the whole thing, and she is still in the business, believe it or not. She runs these uh, beautiful catering things for the Golden Globe Awards and the Oscars and things like that and special parties. And she only does about five or six a year, but she does a, a great job. But anyway, they would do that. Every day we had a, a, a popcorn machine because Mike Milken was crazy about popcorn. So they had a regular, just like at Disneyland, a popcorn machine that made popcorn. Anytime you wanted it, you could go in and get it and come out. Most people, It was open to everybody, but you know, it was a private building owned by Milken himself, and uh, not many people, strangers, would come in, but a few would, and they'd get their popcorn and move out. There was never, never any problem. But the month of December, folks, was the giving month at uh, Drexel. You were expected to... Uh, you know, give some of your salary. Usually, uh, they they requested five percent. Many people gave more, ten percent, twenty percent, and it went to the orphanages uh, in the uh, area of uh, of Los Angeles. And of course, so you got to go to visit the little kids too if you wanted to and give them presents. They they there was a very uh, philanthropic organization, but boy, they made a lot of money. I don't know if you remember this, but in 1978, Mike Milken made more than McDonald's. Now, think of this, folks. This is 1978, okay? 
Mike Milken that year made $578 million. That was 1978. Do you know what that would be in today's dollars? It would be more than $578 million. It was a great place. The problem is they got a little too greedy, and that's what the problem was. Okay, I want to get to what's going on anyway. I was talking to Twentyman about uh, you know the days at Drexel, and he brought up Mary Rivers. Mary Rivers was a lady that was uh, she was in her fifty. She was about yeah, probably fifty-five or so. Uh, I was forty-five. J- Jimmy was Jimmy's four years younger than me. He was forty-one, and she came in and she said, "I know how to trade silver, but I don't have any money." And I said, what, what do you do? She says, well, I work with astrology. Of course, that lit up uh, Mike or Twentyman's ears. He says, what do you do? She says, well, I buy silver a couple times a month, and uh, and then I sell it. And I said, okay, and uh, well, what's the problem? I, well, I don't have any money. I said, okay, i tell you what. I'll put $5,000 in an account, and you call us and tell us when you want to buy silver and when you want to sell silver. So sure enough, she said, okay, I can do that. So I got ready pretty soon. She called probably a week later, and she said, are you ready to uh, uh, to put a trade on? I said, yes. She said, I want to buy silver at uh, 7.28 in the morning, California time, at the, at, and just buy it there. I said, what price? She said, just buy it at 7.28. So I said, okay. So I hang up the phone. I called the Goldberg brothers in uh, in New York, and they were the ones that filled the orders for metals. For uh, well, they did it for the uh, folks down in Dallas. The you know the uh, the big the big fellows. I can't remember their names right now. I'll get it. Hunt brothers. And anyway, so I called and, and I I talked to the to the older brother uh, Jack, and I said I want to buy silver at uh, seven. I, I gave him uh, uh, the the New York price, which was at ten twenty eight. I said I want to buy it at ten twenty eight. Uh, and he's 1028. He says it's selling for 460. I said, no, Jack. I said, I want to buy it at 1028 in the morning. And he said, oh, come on. So what are you doing? I said, well, someone wants to buy it at 1028 in the morning. Yeah, we could. He says, do you want it uh, DRT? And I said, what's that mean? He said, disregard time. I said, I want to buy it at 728. He says, call me back at uh, 1028 and put a market order in. That's the only way I'm going to do it. 1028 comes along. I buy it at the market. Put a stop in. She never used stops, but I did. I put a stop, uh, I think, 30 cents away, $1,500, so just in case disaster hit. And uh, two, about two and a half days later, she called back and she said, okay, sell the silver at uh, whatever it was at that time, and so disregard price. So it was up about 15, 20 cents at the time, so it made about $1,000. $1,000 back in those days was a lot of money. So I called up and put the order in, and that's it. And so the only way I could do this was to have an alarm clock to tell me to buy it at 728 in the morning. So I asked my secretary to go across the street to, to it was uh, Walgreens, and I said, buy me an alarm clock. So she buys one, and it's one of these alarm clocks that they use in the fire department. It was so loud, and oh, it was just like a, an alarm at the uh, at the fire department. And this story got around by the wire operator that was there. We had to put these orders in by wire sometimes. I used a phone because I did a lot of trading, but he knew what the orders were because the confirmations would come back, and he saw it was making money. And the rest of this story will be told when we return. S&P Trading 4796, boys and girls, last chance. We'll be right back. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn. 
and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. NN.com. Call, call, call now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 873 7618. Okay, folks, I'm finishing the story about Mary Rivers. She was a lady that I traded for at uh, Drexel, and she traded by silver. We were just talking about it. And anyway, it would go to the wire operator, and uh, after a while, he started putting orders in. And this after about, she had about three or four winners in a row. And then other people, the office, I had no idea that they were coattailing. I, I really didn't. And then I found out they were coattailing when there were no more orders because she disappeared. After about eight or nine trades, I never heard from her again. She always called me. Uh, she didn't have cell phones or stuff like that. She said she didn't have a phone number. So all I did was take that. And so I wondered where did all this mysterious stuff start and how is it going to end? And so uh, Twentyman and I are there at Drexel. And so the only thing we could do is to try to find her. So we had a, one of our customers uh, was a detective in Beverly Hills and he was making some money with us. I said, can you run a quick check? And he said, can't find her. She was married, got divorced, and that's it. She's disappeared. She used to hang out at the at the in Santa Monica at the Dean Witter office, and, I, and they had a big uh, uh, what do you call it? One of these places where uh, um, the, the customers could look at everything, you know, like they, they did in the old days of the bucket shops. And they had a board there. You could see the, the New York Stock Exchange and commodities. And she used to sit there, and I'm sure she probably started talking because she loved to talk, and she probably ran into a better deal. It was 50-50 with me and her and uh, Mary, but uh, someone probably made her a better deal, maybe more than the $5,000 account that I had, but never did find out anything more about her. She just absolutely disappeared. But we knew that she was putting orders in at the exact time of the day, and Twentyman said, 
there's only one way that happens. And he said, that's using astrology. And he said, all we got to do is call uh, Neil Michelson down at the old uh, Astro uh, Astro Labs, and he would be able to tell us the time of day that those orders were placed and why she got out. A couple weeks later, we, we've got all the data because Jimmy – Worked for Commodity Corporation. Um, he well, Commodity Corporation also, but he also worked for CQG for quite a few years and had access to all the data. This this was far later, but he knew he was a data freak. He's always oh, he has been number freak. But uh, what happened was we knew where the times were, so we went back and we found out that what she was using was Moon and Scorpio, which is a two and a half day cycle. In other words, when silver moved into the sign of Scorpio during market hours, you could buy that. And even if it, as long as it was in Scorpio, it had a bullish bias. But remember, this was 1976 through 1982, and silver bottomed in 74 and been going up, and it eventually went to, you know, $54 in 1980. Well, I only had her for about six or seven months, and it was biased. She never had any losses. I think I don't remember exactly. It was more than 10 or 11 trades we did, and some of them were only a few hundred dollars. A couple were a few thousand, but you know, it was about eight thousand dollars that she'd made during that time. So it was a considerable considerable amount. The most that ever went against her was a thousand bucks. And, uh, you know, I, I sat through it because, you know, I figured she knew something and it turned out to be okay. But statistically, what we did was we went back and started looking, you know, historically, because silver started trading in the 60s. And we said, well, let's see what it did. And actually, during the bulls and bear markets, it's only right about 53% of the time. But that is a bias. So the reason why Twentyman called me, he said, look, with all this stuff that's out here now, and he said, I got all this data. And he said, do you know anybody that knows anything about artificial intelligence? And I said, well, yeah, I do. I said, you know, John Jameson's pretty good at that. He said, well, look, if this stuff works and there's, you know, biases in these markets, why can't we build a program through artificial intelligence and ask it questions like what are the biases of buying on a Wednesday or Thursday in an up week or Tuesday and Friday in a down week, you know, all these different things. Just give it some questions and let the artificial intelligence come back and give you an answer. I said, oh, Jimmy, I said, you know the, how much that would – he said, Larry, he said, some of these people out here are trading billions of dollars and they're probably doing something like this. So I said, all right. So I asked John about it and John said, I like that idea. I said, can we just test it on something? He said, sure. He said, it's going to take me a while to write the program. But he said, you know, we did the floor trader's handbook, and a lot of that stuff shows you that the bias is on the weekdays of the week is already in there. And I said, okay, that's great. That, that's we're, you're two-thirds of the way home. He said, yeah. He says, we are. He said, I think it's a great idea. How about the data? I said, 20 has got the most pure data you could ever ask for. And it's in DOS, where, I forget what it's called, uh, ASCII format or whatever it is. It's the one that's supposed to be in. And so I'll put them together and I'll see if they come up with anything. But I think it'll be really interesting to uh, see what's happening. Okay. All right. Let's move on here to a couple of trades that we're working with today. Uh, this was one right here at uh, 4798 is what we were looking for. I took the difference between those two. I, I sent a video out this morning. says a high probability we're going to make 4796 to 4800. All I was doing was the old magical A, B equals C, D. In fact, I, drew, I, I, I did this wrong. You see the actual number is a little bit lower than that, I believe. Yeah, it's 4799, and the high was 4799 and a half. So that's all I was saying. It's got high probability. I didn't say to sell it. I said there's a high probability of getting there. Okay, that's all we were doing. Okay, now let's get one that we were doing. Here is the Treasury bonds. This morning we were trading at 24.03. You can see the 64, $64 question. The 61% retracement was 124.02. I said we're going to sell it here, put your stop about 20 pips above that. And see what happens. Right now, it's got a little over a thousand dollars profit in it. Okay, but the one that's really interesting, and that is the crude oil. You remember we had Bill Meridian on the phone, remember on the Friday, and Bill was talking to us about the positive bias that goes on with crude oil. Look, crude oil is coming straight down here. Here's where we were, and it looked like we were making a bottom. Let me show you why. This is what we sent out in the video. Okay. Anyway, here's where we were. Looking at this, from where we were, the bottom was made. you got to go to back to where the bottom was made. Let's get back here, right here, get it out of the way. Here's the big move up. Oh, come on, big move up. Get up here. 
Why don't you? There you go. I've got to draw this in so we can see it. This is all in the video that we sent out. This was this is Sunday night, right? This is Sunday, right? Or Monday. Sunday night's right in here. But there's your low, okay? We rally up. We stop exactly, well, within a pip or two of the exact 382 retracement of the. Oh, it's drawn wrong. Doggone. I knew it's exact. Holy cow. From your low right here. There's the low. And there's the high. And there it is right there. There's your 382. I said in the video, I said if we break above this little triangle right here, you want to be buyer above that level. Okay, now we went above it. Then we went below it, stopped right at the 786. Your stop had to be below here. And you can see here, this has had a heck of a move, folks. Well over uh, three and a half cents, which is pretty good. Let's take a break here, pay a few bills. We'll be right back with more exciting information here at TFNN. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar, Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at tfnn.com. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything, from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV.
Okay, folks, uh, I'm going to take a look here at crude oil just a little bit uh, deeper. Uh, this is where we were looking at it on this 382 retracement. Now, when the market goes higher like this, what you need to do – oopsie-daisy, we've got Jeff on the line. Sorry, forgot about that, Al. Jeff, how are you doing, my friend? <laughs> Hi, Larry. How are you? Uh, living the dream, baby. What's up? Great. Um, I'd like to hear your comments on uh, the following. So sometimes I think it would be uh, advantageous if I went and found a market that nobody cares about <laughs> because the chance of uh, manipulation and weird things would be less because you don't have people manipulating it because it's low volume anyway and the market makers are busy with busier markets. But on the other hand, I find that my uh, trading is harder when there's low uh, volume. You know, like That's what, correct. Uh, if I'm it's trading like a regular market that, mm -hmm. that has high volume, but in low volume times, like overnight, uh, the price action is more choppy and squirrely and you see weird things. So I'm thinking, like, is it um, – is it a good idea if you're like to, to put the time in to look at a quiet market? Nobody trades like say oats, and um, <laughs> see if maybe the patterns are actually cleaner, maybe over a little bit higher time frame, like maybe uh, four hour or two hours, something like that. Um, you know, maybe the patterns actually behave better because there's less manipulation, but hey, with the low volume, Jeff. make it harder to trade. Jeff, my friend, I've been trading for 60 years. The last 50 of those, I've had pretty good data. And the last 48 years, since 19, uh, 1983, I've had charts right there in front of me forever. And I look, I work seven days a week. I don't work. I mean, I'm in, I really don't work. I haven't worked for 48 years because I love doing what I'm doing. But there, the markets may be manipulated for a short period of time, a month or two, three or four months. But overall, it's natural law, my friend. And it doesn't make any difference. In fact, I would stay away from thin markets. In fact, trading overnight, only if you're trading something that's pretty liquid overnight, like the currencies and gold, crude oil, and the stock indices, that's fine. But other stuff, not worth it. Just stick to something that you like. It, there is, there's a small chance that something may be manipulated, like I believe what's happened in the stock market here has been manipulated by the Fed here uh, over the last uh, you know a couple of days. In fact, one of the Fed governors was on uh, Bloomberg today, uh, CNBC, uh, uh, Austin Gold Googlesby out of the Chicago Fed, and he said, we were surprised at the action that happened after we talked. He said, because that's not what we meant, is what he said. What he meant and what he said could have been totally different. But once these things start, you never know where they're going to go. One of the things you have to remember, that in the financial markets, there are three people, three firms, BlackRock, uh, Vanguard, and State Street, control 66% of the S&P 500. In other words, they own more stock than anybody else in the S&P 500. So they can control 66% of it. Whether that's good or bad, I don't know. All I know is that they are a big factor in the market. But these markets trade off these patterns, you know, almost like magic. So, no, you stick with those patterns. Don't worry about, you know, being manipulated. And don't go to liquid, illiquid markets. You're going to waste your time. Go to the – go where the players are. Do you remember what Willie Sullivan – or Willie – Willie was his name? Willie um, – Yeah, Willie Sutton. <laughs> Willie Sutton. Sutton, he said, why do you rob banks? He said, oh, that's where the money is. And that's exactly what you want to do. Go where the money is. Okay. That's what I wanted okay. to, uh, to get your opinion on. Well, I, I hope it helped, that. my Thank friend, you. but I feel very strongly about that, okay? All right. I will follow yeah, your you, advice. And you call me anytime if you have any problems, okay? And Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you, Jeff. Uh, same to you, Larry. Okay. <laughs> Right. Okay, Bye. back at crude oil, we've hit the sixty. We hit the three eight two. That tells us that yes, there's a good chance that the market is bottomed, and so that's what we're looking at in crude oil. If you're going to take that as an A B C D, we should make seventy five forty five. That's the A B C D move up into this level right here. But 
what you have to do now is because the market is only look this only it had a big run here and the most it's able to been back off here was a dollar a barrel that tells you that maybe there is something going on with this red sea malarkey that's there so the first thing we would do being a buyer we bought it at the 78.6 as i told the folks if we go below this take a 30 point loss and buy it back at the 78 percent level and that's exactly where it went to I, I sent the video out as it was hitting there it hadn't quite got there see it stayed there for uh, well over half an hour and then it took off this is when the red sea news came out and zoom all it went up and you know got up to this level right here so we have a situation now that we're long and we want to protect profits Here's your 3A2. The first thing you want to do is check from your low to your high. Go up to the 3A2. You see we're not even close to this 3A2 level, correct? So I said put your stop in here. That locks in $1,500 because if it's right, you're going to be making uh, just a little over five grand for no risk at all or, or you make $1,500. That, that's as simple as I can get it. But there's your 3A2 coming in at 7309 If you like this kind of stuff, folks, Guess what? On the 12th, 13th, and 14th of March, I'm going to be appearing at the Marriott Hotel in Las Vegas, Marriott Hotel Casino and Spa Complex there for three days live trading with Mr. Tom Hugard. And we're going to be trading 10 hours a day, uh, two days a week. And on the third day, it's going to be me. That's what the plans are right now. It might change, but right now, that's what it's looking at. So it's going to be about oh, 30 hours of trading for three days. We're going to be there to make money, folks. That's what we're going to be doing, just like we're doing here. And I think we'll be able to do fine over three days. And uh, we should have a, a whole lot of fun. I enjoy it going in front of a live audience quite a bit. So so does Tom. He's even worse than I am. He really, He's really good at this. But anyway, that's what the game plan is. And we're going to have some fun. But the main thing is to make money teach and that's it and of course there'll be some entertainment uh wayne newton is coming over my very good friend he'll be there uh to do some uh singing and stuff and then uh, we're going to have some other people that uh, i think will be uh you know very very exciting and i i try to think of the girl's name that goes with the football player oh she's so young and uh, blonde haired girl i forget she's uh she's the most pop she makes more money than anybody else i was going to have willie nelson but willie's 90 yesterday and he doesn't want to travel anymore so there will not be entertainment but it'll be fun it's there we're there to make some money that's basically it and we have a lot of fun okay that's the oh, we got a break coming up shut the front door and raise the rent i think we're coming up here in about 37 seconds and we get back what we're going to do is review a couple other markets that i think are important uh, remember tomorrow's guest will be tim bost financial cycles weekly it's been two years folks he's back and that's what we want to hear so we'll be right back 877-927-6648 billy ray valentine capricorn You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you ready to take your trading to the next level? Introducing Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, your key to successful active trading. Tom O'Brien, renowned for his expertise in the financial markets, has designed Market Insights to be your daily guide to profitable trades. Tom publishes his daily Market Insights newsletter every market day before the market open, along with updates when warranted. Stay ahead of the game with Tom's real-time analysis and trade recommendations delivered straight to your inbox. Whether you're a seasoned trader or just starting out, Market Insights provides the edge you need to navigate the markets with confidence. 
Ready to join the ranks of successful traders? Head over to TFNN.com and subscribe to Market Insights today. Don't miss out on this opportunity to supercharge your trading results. Market Insights comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee for all new subscribers, so you have nothing to risk. Don't miss out on this opportunity to revolutionize your trading game. Head over to TFNN.com right now to join the thousands of traders who have already experienced the power of Tom O'Brien's award-winning newsletter, Market Insights, firsthand. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Okay, folks, I want to talk here about natural gas, but something more important than that, we had... Uh oh, shut the front door and raise the rent. We got another rider here. Hold on, what? See what we got here. Uh, oh, gold, gold, gold. Okay, gold. Okay, quickly. Uh, anyway, I will go over gold in just a second. But more important than that, we had the poker tournament, Christmas poker tournament in Tucson. There was about 120 players. Uh, we each put in 100 bucks a piece, and we give toys to the. Uh, uh, orphanage and also part of our winnings if we prefer and of course I've been pretty lucky over the years I won last year's in the last five years I've won two always finished in the money and last uh, fr uh, this uh, play Friday Saturday and Sunday and uh, I had not gotten very many cards and uh, I'm there uh, on Saturday playing and uh, I finally make it to the finals on Sunday and I've only got eight thousand dollars, and people are there. Got one hundred and fifty thousand. That's in chips, folks. I mean, these not denominations, but I only got eight thousand dollars, and so I play for an hour and a half. Now I've only got three thousand dollars, and then I caught a run. I took the three thousand dollars up to seventy-seven thousand in about an hour. So now I'm sitting in really good position, and I've got a great hand. I look down, and I've got two red aces. And I said, oh, my God, this is the best hand you can get. And I'm playing against the chip leader. He's got about 150000 And uh, he has a pair of kings. And the flop comes ace, king, three. So I'm the big winner. I got a pair of aces. And he's got three kings. So the only way he can win is with the fourth king. And somebody had already exposed the fourth king. So there was absolutely no way I could lose the hand. Impossible. So he bets $10,000, and I go all in with my last $60,000. He quick calls me right away, and he turns over the the three kings. And I said, sorry. I said, I got three aces, and I turned it over, and I misread my hand. I had an ace and a four, and the cards at the Desert Diamond – the four, they're, they're Arab, not Arabic, they're geometric cards. And so the, the four, if you look at it really quick, it looks like an ace. You have to look at it really quick. Well, I just saw two red, two red ace. I saw the first ace, and then I thought the four was a, was a red. And then I looked out, and I saw it was a heart that was out there. So there was absolutely no way I could have had three aces. Anyway, I had a chance at a flush, but I missed it, and that was the end of it. But I, when my partner, when we get down to, I was the only there were only 16 players left. You make a deal with one of your buddies so that you're be sure to get some money. So I got back a few hundred dollars, and I just, I just donated it to the toy fund and stuff. I was just glad to get out with that money. Even now, we're going to get to something really important. This is the gold. Here's where we are here, folks. We've had this big run here. Let's get this. Let's get the hour. Well, this is good enough. This will be 
show you where we are here right now. Clean this up a little bit because we've had a retracement here. Went a little below the 382. I, I fo focused on this right here at 33, and I said we should hold above if it's bear, if it's bullish, and it's done that all night long, and it's just had a rally. You can see we – oh, this is nothing more than an ABC cell right now. Let's just get this up here, and you'll be able to see here's where we are. And this is over the last few days. There's the 14th, 15th, and here's the 18th. We're just going to see from this last high, there's your X point, okay? A, B, C, D, setting right at 618. So it should have stopped there at 47. It's already back to 8 bucks. Now, if this is correct, this is going to be good news because that gives us something to tell on the downside, correct? We've already exceeded the A, B, C, D on this move. So it is a bearish formation. There was your 382. 382 stayed there for a while. This must have been a news. Popped up to 47. Ah, methinks too much, Shakespeare said. From your high here down to your low, the 382 uh -oh, goes to 50%. I thought it was going to stop at the 382 of this higher high, but no, it stopped at the 50% level. So this is telling us now that we have an ABCD pattern here, this is the kind of trade I'm going to, I would be doing because this is a beautiful market to trade. And there it is for tomorrow or the next day. Oh, look at this, 2018. That's what you, oh, there's your 61% retracement off the whole thing. That's it. Oh, let's go to the hourly chart and make sure we're looking at the same thing, Bubba. Oh, here we go. Got to move this up here. Ah, see it very clearly. Aha, said the blind man. In the land of the king. In the land of the blind, the one-eyed man is king, as Larry Williams always says. Okay, now we've got the correct A, B, C, D. There's your A right there. Move it over so everybody can see it. Come down. There's your A, B, C, D. Look at that. Just right there, 1016. And you almost put a 1618 in that if you inverted the numbers. Let's draw the A, B, C, D pattern in. There's your A leg, B leg, C leg. Bada bing, bada boom. That says 15. So remember, mathematics precedes geometry. So 2017 is where I'd be looking to buy it tomorrow. That's a pretty good shot. You got an ABCD, first one you've had since this puppy has started, stopped going down. Remember this big move down that we had? Okay, and then never made this little one. That got it. That's no longer functional. Get that out. But this is the first ABCD possibly in a new bull market. So. Holiday or not, you got to pay attention to that little puppy. That's for sure. That's what I, I don't see how you can not. Let's just draw this in right there, and there's where we go, right to that point, right there. Okay. All right. That's pretty much it. Okay. Let's move on here to the next one here that we had to talk about. Someone had a question about when that we did natural gas. Uh, no, we didn't do natural gas because we had a caller. Let's get this up here. Here's natural gas, folks. This was a trade we sent out for today. There's your high from way back here in November, okay, right around Thanksgiving. We come down, made a low. We've been a five-day rally, setting right at the old 382 at night, uh, 2.58. That's where we said sell it at 2.58. Put a stop here, just a little above it here. You don't have to risk very much. Whoops, it's not drawn correctly. And... Uh, we would be it's a, so it's two two point five six roughly right now, so you put your stop up here to about two five six two, you'd be risking about four hundred dollars. Possibility of a prof profit on this would be a three eight two of this move right here, and that would be coming in right at this level right here. If it gets to this level two forty six, you've made uh, fifteen hundred dollars, risking uh, four hundred dollars. That's uh, four and a half to one. That's a really good Christmas payout if you get that one, boys and girls, okay? That's what I'd be looking at. Now let's take a look at the old stop and pee. I haven't heard the beepers go off, so I don't know what's happening with it, but let's take a look. Where are you? Oh, I've got to put it in just a second. I've got to put this into order. Otherwise, shut the front door, Larry, just a second here. Where is the S&P? We're still there. Boy, it hasn't done a darn thing. Still setting right up here at this level. Uh, got as high as uh, 98. We're trading at 96. The sale came in at 96. The stop would be at 02. So you're risking, uh, you know, just six points up here if it gets hit. And if it's right, remember, your first minimum objective would be this little puppy right here. 
and that would be uh, down about uh, ten by uh, five hundred dollars. So that would be your first profit objective. And if you get stopped out, um, call someone that really understands the S&P. But anyway, take a look at that. That looks like it. That's got everything you could ask for in this trade. It might not work, but what the heck, it's got everything you could ask for. I think we got to take a break. 877-927-6648. Tigers, tis the season for leveling up your trading skills. Basil Chapman is happy to offer all opening call subscribers a free subscriber webinar Wednesday, December 20th, 4 p.m. to 5.30 p.m. Eastern. Basil Chapman will be discussing major sectors and stocks that are coming off their lows in order to prepare your portfolio for 2024. This is a free webinar for all opening call subscribers. If you are not yet a subscriber, visit the front page of TFNN.com today to secure your spot for Wednesday, December 20th. TFNN, educating investors. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tigers Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, folks, we're looking at the crude oil here. We were talking about just before we just made the 382 retracement here. The number was 7309. We got to 7305. So there's a perfect example of how these numbers, this might not work for more than 10 seconds. I don't know. But it just shows you the power of the 382. This one was perfect so far. This one is too. But if we start going below uh, 7300, 73 73 dollars a barrel it was certainly it would certainly not be correct because in my opinion looking at a short-term chart here at 13 minutes you got to give it 30 pips when we go below that it tells you that you're wrong that's all i'm saying so i'll have to stick with that and see what happens we'll figure out what's going on later uh tomorrow we'll find out whether this held or not but it might only hold for 
just a minute or two, but right now it's done exactly what it was supposed to do. It shouldn't get any lower than that right there. As you can see, 7,300 right there. It gets below that. Uh, I will be out of the long crude oil that we bought down in here and wait and see for another day of what happens. If that holds that level, however, I will be looking to sell it up here at 75.45. So I'd be a buyer down here and a seller up there. That's what I'd be watching. I don't care what about the, all the fighting that goes on. I hear all that stuff. Today, they were barricading the Red Sea and the market rallied almost $5 a barrel. Okay, and what is they not even not even scared anymore? It's backed off a um, dollar and a half a barrel right now, setting at seventy three twenty. So they're not scared about anything, are they? If it were really something bad, you'd have crude oil up here at seventy eight possibly. Because looking at the daily, you know we're way down at the bottom here, boys and girls. Look at this. This is nothing. Maybe that made a 382 of that. God, if I did that, I should be out of it at that point. Hey, we're going to take a break here for the rest of the day. Tomorrow, we've got Tim Boss coming in. Uh, no, it went up to the 61% retracement. Tim Boss will be our guest tomorrow. So live every day in an attitude of gratitude, and may God bless. 